It's family fortunes, and tonight's families are Pete, Paul, John, Alan, and Gary, the guest family. And they're playing Daniela, Sandra, Claudia, Marisa, and Lee, the Banyara family. And here's your host, Les Dennis. Thank you very much. Good evening. Welcome to the show. Once again, two great families hoping to go all the way to big money, win £5,000, and if they can match the top five answers in big money, win tonight's star prize. <laughs> Daniela, meet Gary. All right, in this first game, top six answers we're looking for. We asked 100 people to name a bird with a long neck. Daniela. A swan. A swan. <laughs> is the second most popular answer, but Gary, there is a more popular one. Ostrich. An ostrich. It's the top answer. Well played. Check in the family. Oh, play. Look at that sporting family this lot. They you nearly knocked your microphone off then, Peter. <laughs> All right, the guests, um, no conferring, and the Banyaras, think of some answers in case you get a chance to steal later on. Hi, Alan. All right, Liz. You're a bit accident prone. I'm very accident prone, Liz, yeah. When I was, when I was 14, I got shot. <laughs> in the bum. In the, in the muscle of my leg, Liz. You know, today he said in the buttock. <laughs> then tonight he comes out and goes in the bum. <laughs> and what else? And well, I've been drove to the brewery for 25 years, but I have a lot of accidents with the wagging. I got the wagging stuck under a bridge. I reversed and knocked a 40 foot wall down. <laughs> um, well, that is all right. <laughs> <laughs> and then I went to help my son knock an RSJ out in his house, and we took the next door neighbours out at the same time. <laughs> You're kidding well. me, honestly. Yeah. 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 So you sorted the dog before you, and you uh, went to uh, make an appointment for a later time? That's right, yeah. Oh, my God. What do you think, then? A, a bird with a flamingo. long, long neck? A flamingo. Yes, well played. Yeah. You get a prize as well. Steve, what have we got? Well, if you're fit enough, you can keep away from the dogs. You've won this sports voucher to the value of £250. Great. All right, mate. Paul, I won't say anything about your waistcoat, because you're a big boxing fan, aren't you? So... That's right. I've done a bit of boxing, Liz. Yeah. Yeah. Preparation before a fight, I used to have to go to sleep at the one fight, slept that much. When I woke up, it had all finished. <laughs> oh, fancy that. All right, what do you think, a bird with a long neck? Um, blackbird. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to risk saying it. If it's up there, I'll give you the money myself. A blackbird. <laughs> Two lives have gone. The Banyaras might get a chance to steal. Hi, Peter, you're a boxer as well. I am, Les. Certainly am. I've, uh... Boxed a few weights, well, five actually. You actually boxed at what? Super heavyweight? Super heavyweight, heavyweight, light heavyweight. But come on, you, you, you can't have been super heavyweight. How old? It depends when, to, when I went on the beer or not. <laughs> <laughs> so, how much did you weigh when you were super heavyweight? 18 and, 18 and a half stone. 18 and a half stone? They used to call me sumo. Yeah? yeah. <laughs> oh, so, you got down, how did you get down that your weight down? There? Well, I was in the army as well, training at boxing right. in the army as well. See? See what happens, Peter? What do you think? A bird with a long neck? A goose. A goose? Three lives have gone, so the Banyaras get a chance to steal Lee. Naomi Campbell. <laughs> <laughs> That's what he said. Marisa. Emu. Emu. A penguin. A penguin. A peacock. A peacock. Daniela. A peacock, but Which... we're going to go with emu. Emu to steal. Yeah! <laughs> Naomi Campbell. And the missing answers on a bird with a long neck. S number six? A heron. And answer number five on a bird with a long neck is? A crane. Right, let's play on round two. Sandra, meet Alan. 
top six answers in this second game. We asked 100 people to name the first thing you soap up in the shower. Alan. <laughs> <laughs> You're making up your own jokes now. <laughs> soap suds. <laughs> you soap up the soap suds. The soap suds. <laughs> it isn't there, Alan. Oh. Fancy that. Sandra. Your face. Your face. Let's have a look for your face. Yes, it's there. You have control. Check with your family. Play! Play, rejoin your family. No conferring on this. So, Claudia, you're married? <laughs> so point. So point. So 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 anybody out there who'll have her? Oh. <laughs> you're not? In an Italian family by my age, I should be well settled, married, children, everything. But you're not yet. And I get a lot of stick. A lot oh, of earache. Very big shell. Especially from Dad. From your dad? Yes. Hello, Dad. I'm not getting married. Yeah. <laughs> well, you do an impression of him. How does he speak? Oh, what does he say about well, you? When, I, when I go in the house, I say, hi, hi, Mum, hi, Dad. And he goes, hi, have you found a man yet? Yeah. <laughs> what do you say? <laughs> Manana. <laughs> That's it, Les. Manana. <laughs> All right, Claudia, what do you think? The first thing you soap up in the shower? Legs. All right, Claudia, we're looking for legs. Yes, it's the fifth most popular. We get a prize as well. Steve! Yeah, so no children to mess around with the remote control. You've won this 25-inch colour television. Yeah! yeah. <laughs> Marisa, you're married to him, and he comes out with these things about Naomi Campbell. I know. It must be wishful thinking. I can't understand why. What she got that I haven't. <laughs> <laughs> You've got something that she hasn't. Yeah. Too much pasta, Les. Too much pasta. <laughs> now, this is the second his... Um, oh, his. I'm not sure whether it's him or his. <laughs> well, you don't know whether it is. Brilliant. What, what happened to, about the car story? We used to live in Swindon, and my pride and joy is a Nissan Cherry, which we still have, and um, it was being damaged regularly so we decided to keep watch with some of our neighbours and one night we caught the, uh, the criminal, as it were, yeah. Lee went round the back, the neighbours and I went round the front, and we were that excited at managing to catch him, we had, th we had them re ready, and the police arrived, and I was shouting that much, was that excited, Lee was trying to calm me down, and as he went to calm me down, the police handcuffed him, thinking that he was the one that had done all the damage. And during this, the guy's just walking quietly up the street, <laughs> <laughs> disappearing. So you got Nick for your own car. That's right, yes. <laughs> I think the baby's due now, isn't it, Marisa? <laughs> At the end of that story, what do you think, the first thing you soap up in the shower? Your head. Your head. Hair, we accept forehead. Well played. <laughs> All right, Lee. Very well, thank you, lads. You went for a pedicure. What happened then? Uh, before I got uh, married, uh, my wife insisted on me going for a pedicure. <laughs> so there I was. I was, went into schools in Manchester. Uh, that was before it was bombed. Why did she insist on you having a pedicure? Something wrong with your feet and your toes? I think so. I think that was a very hint. Smelly, very smelly. Yeah. <laughs> right. So there we were, and I walked up into the, uh, the cubicle, and the lady there said to me, could you take your hosiery off? So. Your socks. Yeah. Well, he, didn't know, he didn't know it meant your socks. Do <laughs> <laughs> you have to get a word in at home, Lee? <laughs> Funny enough. <laughs> go on, finish the story. Oh, yeah, <laughs> well, the next shock I had was when the lady came back with the bowl of water ready to wash his feet. He was sat there in his underpants. <laughs> and he thought she meant take your clothes off and get ready. And she brought all the young assistants out because she thought it was so funny. They were killing themselves laughing. There he is sat with his underpants. <laughs> And then you did get Nick. Uh, yes, definitely. All right, Lee, what do you think? Back. Back. <coughs> no, so we lose a life on that. How do you soap up your back? It's really difficult, hasn't it? Daniela. Mm. Your hands. Your hands, OK, you soap up your hands. <laughs> yes, and we get a prize as well. Steve. Yes, Daniela, you've won yourself a super sleuth weekend at the Harrogate Hotel made famous during Agatha Christie's mysterious disappearance. <laughs> yeah. Well played. Sandra, you're a good cook. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. The joke is I don't cook. You don't cook? No. She won't cook. Can't cook, won't cook? No. All right, then. Sandra, what do you think? The sponge. You soap up the sponge. <laughs> yes, well played. Another prize coming your way, Steve. Well done, Sandra. You've won a health spa two-day break for two, located in a stately home at Horcross in the heart of rural Staffordshire. Oh, how's that? <laughs> you don't have to do any cooking there. They do everything for you. They're happier. They look after you. You'll have a brilliant time. All right, Claudia, what do you think? 
Ears. Behind the ears. All right, you soap up behind your ears to begin with. <coughs> Two lives have gone, the guests might steal. Marissa. Your feet. Your feet. You want him to do it with his feet. Let's have a look. <laughs> your feet. <coughs> Three lives have gone, so the guests a chance to steal. Peter. You naughty bits. You naughty <laughs> bits. <laughs> Your own, your own pitch this. Your own pitch this. Yes, yes. <laughs> your own, you can't even remember my name. Your own pitch, okay, yeah. Paul. Knees. Jump. Knees. Knees. Back of the neck. Back of the neck. <laughs> we get the teeth out. Yes. <laughs> Gary. Feet. Feet, I'd say, but I'm going to go with uh, armpits. All right, armpits. If it is one of the missing, or the only missing answer, you have the money in the bank. Armpits. Yeah! yeah! Six pounds. There are no answers to reveal as we play round three. How do you meet John? Hello. Top six answers. We asked 100 people to name a sport where players do not wear a number. Claudia. Golf. Golf. Yes, but there are four more popular Cricket. ones, John. Cricket. Cricket. They hardly have a score a number in our country. We're looking for <laughs> Cricket. Yes, it's there. Oh, right. oh, Rejoin, no conferring, Paul. Rugby. Rugby. Let's have a look for rugby. They wear a number in that, don't they? <laughs> Peter. It's got to be boxing. Boxing. It's got to be boxing. <laughs> Good answer, but not there. So two lives have gone. The Banyaras already might get a chance to steal. There are four answers to find and only one life left. Gary. Waistcoats. Snooker. Waistcoats, <laughs> snooker. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. <laughs> And you get a prize as well, Steve. Yeah, no room for a snooker table. I'm afraid you've won a week's narrowboat holiday for <laughs> yeah. four on the scenic Midlands waterways. <laughs> What's that? Up the yeah. Midlands waterways. Up the court. Up the court. Up the court. Up the court. <laughs> Alan, what do you think? Tennis. Tennis. Good answer, it's a top answer, well played. Two answers to find, John. A swimmer doesn't wear a number. Yes, yes, it's there, but there's one answer to find, Paul, can you find it? Hockey. Hockey, if it's there, you have the money in the bank. Hockey. <coughs> Three lives have gone, the Banyaras get a chance to steal once again. Lee. Golf. Golf we've already had. Snooker. Snooker we've already had. Fishing. Fishing. Skiing. Skiing. Daniela. Fishing. All right, if fishing is the missing answer, you have the money in the bank. If not, it goes to the guests. <laughs> to steal, fishing. <laughs> Get the money, well played. The missing answer number six on a sport where players do not wear a number is... Darts. So, at the end of the first half, the Banyara family have £68 and the guests have £156. Join us in a couple of minutes when one of our families will be playing for £5,000 and the car. We'll see you then. playing for the £5,000 and the car? Will it be the Banyaras from Manchester who have a 25-inch TV, a sleuth weekend, a two-day health break and £68? Or will it be the guests from Dudley in West Midlands who have a £250 sports voucher, a week on a narrow boat and £156? Let's see now as we play Double Money. <laughs> OK, Marisa, if you're all right. Meet Paul. Double money, all the answers revealed are worth twice the price they were before the break. Top five answers. We asked 100 people to name another word for married. Marisa. Skeet. <laughs> together. Together. <laughs> we want to be together. <laughs> no, it isn't there, Paul. Wed. Wed. It's there, so you have control. Check with your family. Oh, yeah. Right, rejoin. No conferring the guests. The Banyaras think of some answers. So what do you think, Peter? Stitched. I itched. Itched. <laughs> itched. It's the top answer. Well played. <laughs> Gary. Stitched. <laughs> what do you think? Hooked up. Hooked up. Yes. Hooked is answer number five. Well played, Alan. You married, Alan? 
35 years, Liz. Right. <laughs> so what do you call it, Alan? <laughs> <laughs> what do you think? What do I think? An another word for Mary. <laughs> We've lost a life on it. John. <laughs> <laughs> Five kids. Oh, ring. <laughs> Just Go the one. <laughs> Tell us what you think. Uh, up the shoot. Up the shoot. She'll get married now. <laughs> That's the reason for being weird. That's the reason for being weird. He says, up, up the shoot. <laughs> no, so we lose a life. The Banyaras might steal. Paul. United. United. Good answer, but not there. I like that answer, but it wasn't there. Lee? Shacked up. Shacked up. <laughs> Marisa? Joined. Joined. Claudia? Living over the brush. Living over the brush. Is that married? It Sandra? <laughs> it Couple. was for you. <laughs> Couple. Coupled. Daniela? Betrothed. Betrothed. Is that married? What are you, go you going to go with? We're going to go with betrothed. Betrothed. If it is there, you're still in the game. If not, the guests go through to big money. We're looking for betrothed. <laughs> no, it's not. We're playing big money. We lose the Banyaras. You've been a smashing family. You really have been great. You're going back to Manchester with a 25-inch TV, a sleuth weekend and a two-day health break and £68. And before you go, the missing answers. Number four <laughs> is spliced. Wow. And answer number three on another word for married is... Shackled! All right, they were great, the Banyaras. Thank you. Congratulations, Gary. Yeah. Who's playing big money? Myself and Brother Paul. Gary and Paul, join me at the mic, please. <laughs> hey, Paul, you're playing first. Gary, go and put the headset on and we'll call you back. Can I ask you five questions? You have 15 seconds to answer and the time doesn't begin until I finish asking the first question. Is that clear? Yep. Good luck. 15 seconds on the clock, please. <laughs> Name something found under the bonnet of a car. Engine. A food people buy regularly. Milk. A kind of animal used in advertising. Dog. A colour on a Ludo board. Red. A tourist attraction in Italy. Venice. OK. <laughs> right, Paul, let's see how we did. First of all, I asked you to name something found under the bonnet of a car. You said... An engine, our survey said... <laughs> Top answer, 36, good start. A food people buy regularly. You said... Milk, our survey said... Four people, only four people said milk. A kind of animal used in advertising. You said... A dog, our survey said... <laughs> 33, two top answers, 73 scored. A colour on a Ludo board, you said. Red, our survey said. Another top answer. Finally, a tourist attraction in Italy. You said. Venice, that's a city rather than an attraction. Let's see, you said Venice, our survey said. <coughs> Nothing for Venice. We got 103. Well scored. Rejoin your family. We'll clear the board and bring Gary back. Paul scored 103, so you're going to find 97 points. And if you do that and get 200 points, you then will have the £5,000 and the five top answers will get you the car as well. The same five questions and 20 seconds to answer. If you duplicate any of the answers, you'll hear this sound and I'll ask you for another. Can we remind the viewers at home of the answers we've had from Paul and can I have 20 seconds on the clock, please? Good luck. <coughs> Name something found under the bonnet of a car. Engine. Another. Carburetor. A food people buy regularly. Bread. A kind of animal used in advertising. Cat. A colour on a Ludo board. Black. A tourist attraction in Italy. Pizza. Lean on a pizza. Whoa, well played. <laughs> right. 97 points. We'll get us the £5,000 and those two missing top answers, you find those as well, you'll get the car as well. Something found under the bonnet of a car. You said... A carburettor, our survey said... Three. Only three people said carburettor, but we're going well. We've got 106. We need 94. A food people buy regularly. You said... Bread, our survey said... 
144, we need 56. We're going well. We only need one top answer to get the car. A kind of animal used in advertising. You said... Cat. Our survey said... 24, we need 32. A colour on a Ludo board. You said... Black. Our survey said... <coughs> Nothing for black. We still need 32 points. And we need this to flash and to be worth more than 32, or at least 32 points, to win the car and the £5,000. A tourist attraction in Italy. You said... The Leaning Tower of Pisa. 32 points. What do you mean it's pathetic? No, it's good. Vatican, oh, is that, that's your answer. Well, let's see. You said Pisa, our survey said... <laughs> yeah! Celebrity Millionaire Month on Challenge and tonight John Coleshaw and John Thompson are up first and in the hot seat trying to raise cash for some worthwhile causes. That's tonight and all this week on Challenge at 9.